What is going on guys? It's King Touch Pro. Welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to do a face swap between two people. And you could really do this with anybody or anything if you wanted to. And this is really just for the fun and for uh, entertainment purposes. Uh, so yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is this is going to be the final result. <laughs> it's uh, Katy Perry's face on top of Megan Fox's. So this is Megan Fox right here. So this is the before and this is the after. So we're going to be using Katy Perry's over Megan Fox's. Let's get started. All right, so in order to begin, first make sure you have your first image or the image you want to, um, you want the face to be on top of. So in order to do this, um, depending whether you have a female or a male, if it's a male, it's going to be very easy. If it's a female, it's going to be a little bit harder because they usually have hair on their face. And, you know, most of the time they will and most of the time they won't. But if you're lucky enough and you have one like this, it's going to be eh, it's going to be quite easy. So uh, in order to do this, it's very simple. Just, you know, follow along with the steps and you should be able to do this. So here's our image. We have it imported. Uh, we have it opened in Photoshop and we want to select our face. OK, so in order to do this, simply go over to the lasso tool right here. And you could also just uh, cl uh, click and hold and that will give you other options. So we just want to select the lasso tool for now or press L on your keyboard for the shortcut. And uh, so now what we want to do is we want to make a like a selection right here. Try to make it as close as possible because if you select the outside like this, it's going to be a little bit more diffi uh, difficult. So kind of go around like this. So let me go ahead and show you. So I'm going to go around like this and I'm on a mouse. So it's going to be a little bit more challenging. But if you're using like a pen or like a, um, a Wacom Wacom tablet, yeah, it's going to be fairly easy. So I'm going to go down here, uh, going down through the eyebrows. Ooh, I can fix that later and go down here again. It's, it's kind of difficult, but we'll erase that anyway. So we want to make a selection just like this. Okay. So just don't get her forehead or anything. Cause that's going to be de uh, deleted anyway. Now, once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and copy it. So go over to edit and copy, uh, or command C for the shortcut or control C if you're on a PC. Um, cool. So once you've done that, we can go over to the image that we want to place it on top of. So we're going to use Megan Fox for this example. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to go over to edit and then paste or command V to paste it in if you're on a Mac or control V if you're on a PC. So now we're going to go ahead and resize it. So go over to edit and then free transform. And once you have done that, uh, we're going to go ahead and zoom in. And we're going to go ahead and rotate her face so it matches uh, her uh, Megan's face. So it's, you know, it's got to be the same. It can't obviously be like this, right? Because her face is kind of tilted. So we have to tilt the image as well. So something like that. And then just you could either double click or press the check mark or press command enter. So either one works. So now. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and decrease the opacity. So if you go over to the right, you're going to see opacity. Simply, um, you could click and drag where it says opacity. So you're just clicking and dragging left to decrease it or to the right to increase it. So we're going to dec decrease it to around 55%. So like that. And uh, once you have done that, we're going to go ahead and make it bigger again. So now here's the tricky part. Um, it's not really tricky, but it takes some practice, I guess, uh, you're going to go ahead and make sure you match up her eyes with your subject's eyes. All right. So I want to match her eyes with Megan's eyes. So just kind of go like that. And if you have to rotate it, simply do so. Um, just make sure everything is in line. So like this, um, you could also use your left and right, uh, bracket keys or your left and down, uh, keys on your keyboard to move it up or left. Um, so I think right here is good. You also want to make sure your mouth is uh, fairly close and then press the check mark. Now we're going to increase the opacity to 100%. And once we have done that, we want to simply erase or fade her skin with Megan's skin. So simply go over to the eraser tool 
or you know just it's right here or press E on your keyboard and go over to the top left and you're gonna see a little down arrow click on that and then the size should be around 60 depending how big your image is and the hardness should be this one so click on this one it should be a soft edge brush so 0% hardness because we want it as low as possible and then we're gonna start to fade her skin so just do it on the edge um, so just like this so if you mess up um, just simply press command Z or go to the history brush right here or the history panel um, so simply go around her face and we're gonna go ahead and kind of fade her skin just like so um, so take some time with this if you want um, again this is I'm doing it fairly quick so it won't be as perfect but you'll get the idea of how to do a face swap so um, if I erase her her eyebrows like this it's gonna be a little bit more realistic so because her eyebrows are kind of in the way so I think that looks uh, that looks pretty good um, so kind of going like that so that looks fairly good pretty good I should say and uh, once you have done that uh, we're gonna go over to make sure you have your layer selected I'm gonna go ahead and name this Katy Perry uh, I think that's how you spell Katy Perry right yeah <laughs> just making sure so select your layer and uh, we're gonna go over to image adjustments hue and saturation and this is where you have to kind of mess around with you kind of have to make your skin match whatever your subjects skin is so hers is kind of like a lightish like a not pink but like a darkish um, skin color so you could you know mess around with the saturation a little bit if you want to increase it or go like that <laughs> that looks really weird but uh all right here is good and decrease or increase the lightness if you want uh, I think zero would be good for that and then press OK and if you want to go even further uh, simply go over to image go to adjustments uh, and then go to curves and then in the curves you can just click and drag on any of this line and this will allow you to change your her skin color as so so I'm gonna go uh, let's see preset yeah we want red here we go uh, she's more pinkish on this side right here and then uh, no like I guess so like that and kind of move around her face just a little bit so again this will take some time to you know you have to kind of mess around with the colors here or with the curves um, so I'm trying to make it as realistic as possible but uh, for the sake of saving time I'm simply gonna go like this and I will click OK so here is her face you can see it from far <laughs> it looks really funny it looks good though it's not too bad you can see um, some uh, some work that has to be done but I just showed you the principles you could always um, continue to make it better so here's the before and the after before and the after so if this helped you in any way please leave a rating below comment for my next uh, video or leave a video suggestion subscribe if you haven't because I post videos like this every Monday Wednesday and Friday and I will catch you guys on my next video stay classy